Now we're back with uh, an ex exploded chip. Yeah. Which is an ours. Hooray. Well, it is now. I was going to ask that. Uh, can we salvage things from that? Or is it just, you know? I mean, it's hulked, so that's a shit ton of damage. But can't we sell the metal? I mean, it, theoretically you could, but you could guys generally, yeah, you're, you're generally not uh, interested in like single off trans transactions, Good. you know. Yeah. Then let's... Such uh, base scavenging is surely. Uh, I, I think we should get on our scanners though and see if there are more ships coming, or if that was their one ship. Sure, someone give me a tech use on the scanner, or have the crew do it. Get on it, Grunty. Robot guy, do it. He might not be here yet. He might be taking a longer break than expected. No, no he's I'm, here. I'm just, I'm, I'm clicking the buttons. Clicking the buttons. A bunch of buttons they have to click. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. If there's anything here, I bet he's found it. Five degrees of success. No, you know, there's, there's a few other wrecked, hulked ships around. Uh, there's the remains. Of a planetary space station, but uh, there's there's no other you know active ships in range. I suspect that the ship that we just fought uh, has taken out several ships before us. Maybe the planet's been hit by pirates or something. Um, slavers. Do we want to go talk to that guy who was a jerk and wanted it? The stuff. I guess we should. But Telling these friends are dead. Him? Yeah, both, but mo mostly to brag. But we should also repair our own ship because we did take a hit. And I need to make a scurrying speech to um, to our crew. Yeah, they do need them. To let Keep them in know. mind, your ship's a bit harder to repair. Minus thirty yeah. to tech use to repair. Yeah. yeah. I'm. I'm not. I, I feel like you should still try, though, right? Like, can things go badly if we fail? Well, basically, with a minus 30, your regular crew can't repair it at all. So it has to be, like, grunty telling people what to do. Or Luckily, someone. as uh, someone with forbidden knowledge, Xenos, it's only a minus 10 for me. Nice. Good. Oh, Ethan dropped again. No, right. I'm back. back. Oh, never mind. Uh, uh, one so of should the I roll that... a, a, oh, a tech use for that, I guess? Yeah, let me get let me get to the repairing ships part. Don't you have Xenotech? I do. Or do so you have it's minus ten instead of minus thirty. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. No, in fact, it's quite good. <coughs> uh, so repairing a ship's gonna take a few weeks. Oh well, it's it's not something to do just. Whatever yeah. you got, you basically got to put it in one place and keep it there for a while. Then my suggestion is that we uh, go to rain probably and repair it. Oh, it can't be done underway. No, no. Uh, extended repairs, page two twenty-eight. You have to anchor it somewhere. Yeah, I, well, not here. No. Don't recommend that, Captain. Let's not do it here. We could just, you know. Talk to that guy, and if we don't like him, we could just fire the orbital batteries at him. Yeah, but if we go talk to the people on the planet now, they're gonna be really scared. Because we Good. presumably destroyed their only ship. Yeah. Yeah, Since so that puts us in an extremely good bargaining position. In my experience. I mean, we can't really do much anyways with them, but... Just tell yeah. them. Tell them. Or maybe we shouldn't tell them. Oh, if we don't tell them, they'll be waiting for their friends. And then they'll never talk. They won't get them. Um. Well, we could figure out, like, what they're doing here. Like, if they are raiders or something, this is important information. That could be valuable. Let's, ju let's just call them up and see what happens. <coughs> All right. Um, you, you hail them on the Vox frequencies again, and no one's answering. <laughs> well, um, I'm I'm gonna hail them and say they better pick up, or I'm gonna blow the fuck out of uh, whatever's down there. 
Uh, make an intimidate test. Uh, do, 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 do. No, not test versus new skills. Do I have intimidate? No, I do not. Is it intimidate? Because that goes on strength. You can yeah, do sure. intelligence also. Yeah, you can also yeah. do it under intelligence. I think okay. you, can, you might be able to do it under fellowship also. I know you can do it under other things. Okay, well, it's a uh, it's, uh, test versus... If it's intelligence, it's... Half. Here, I have the book open. Let me see. Strength. Uh, can use strength, uh, it, intelligence, or fellowship, depending on the characteristic used for the test. And it's basic. Yeah. So, do you have Intimidate? No, I do not. Uh, I think I do, and I also get plus ten because I've got a spooky voice. You should, yes. Go right ahead. Uh, yeah, I do. Like, um, am I spooky? Yes, yes I am. Yeah, like I've got a weird voice because I'm a weird alien. Yeah, you do. Uh, I would do that under intelligence because it's better than my strength slightly, like 37 to 32. I, I will also hold my spooky knife while I'm doing it, so I'm extra spooky. Oh, they can't see you holding your knife. Uh, do they not have video? No. I'll keep pulling it out so it makes the Don't. <laughs> noise. Don't we have a ghost uh, ghost feel on our ship? I don't believe so. Did we just have the... Because we had three things. We had the... Uh, the shard cannon battery and the rune caster. Caster. Uh, the laser defense grid. The yeah, yeah. Micro laser defense. The grid. Micro grid. Right, yeah. which increased ship turret rating by two, which I yeah. don't remember what it does. That's for boarding. Okay, cool. Shoots down boarding vessels. Do, 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 do. Uh, uh, and then. This versus characteristic uh, intelligence. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna just be clanging knives together. So it sounds like I'm sharpening a knife. So I'm really spooky. That's what I'm gonna do. That's good audio. All oh, right. That, <laughs> so that's why we're that's why we're okay in the in the warp because of our eye of the warp thing from the rune yeah caster. the rune caster yeah the rune caster. Uh, okay, so I get Sweet. plus ten because I'm spooky. One degree um, of success. Um. Saying that, that wasn't very nice of them. We came to help their awful yeah. planet, and then they sick some dogs on us. We did what you have to do to mad dogs, though, and put mm. them down. Uh, if they look up through the st well, if they could see through the storms on their awful planet, they'd probably see the explosion. Might very well be that they were on that ship to begin with. Uh. No, you you get an answer from the planet. The guy oh. the guy gets back on the Vox, and he sounds terrified, and he says, "Who who who am I speaking with?" Oh oh oh! I got I got I got the thing because I'm an elf. Uh, that, that, where is it? Where's the thing? Where's my lineage? Because I got the lineage. Uh, Anadar Zarak, the true-born son of Archon Kolar Zarak of the Cabal of the Sundered Heart. Uh, I'm uh, Eldar Iniad. Uh, hi. I just uh, shot down of the uh, silkworm. Of the silkworm. I just shot down uh, your guys, your friends. He he says he says surely this this storm racked planet is is beneath the attention of of, of Zeno such as you. Mm. You, should, you should just leave us. Uh, you're beneath my like. Whims, but uh, there's some other people here who are quite concerned about the planet. I'm slightly annoyed. He's a bit miffed. They don't like it when people shoot at me. To be honest, I'm gonna, I'm be, I am gonna have to be directing crew for weeks to repair the damage on this vessel. <laughs> I'm not happy you, about you, it. You don't say that. We didn't take any damage. The, uh, yeah, like, we got out of it perfectly. The, uh... I'm not fussed about slavery, but I don't like being lied to. Yeah, slavery is pretty bad. 
<laughs> a, a voice in his head down on the planet is like, actually, slavery is bad. We don't like it. I'm against slavery unless it is sanctioned by the Adeptus Mechanicus. Okay, we're officially against slavery. That's our official stance. <coughs> okay, so you're, you're telling him what? That you're against I'm, slavery and you want to know what, I, my, my suggestion to the captain is to find out what the hell's going on, because if they're raiders or something, like, we can, yeah, I, we can make uh, money off this. No, I mean, I'm clearly, clearly we're in a position of power here. He needs to tell us who he's working for and what they're doing. And if we deem the answers to be worthy and up to par, maybe we won't shoot down his whole operation. Maybe we'll leave him alone. Okay. Because clearly they don't know who they're dealing with. Which is a big ass mistake. Saving your ship. One sec. Okay, so he tells you, uh, well, you know, this this is a colony belonging to, or at least formerly belonging to, rogue trader, uh, a spice corda. I'll type a the spice name. Spice corda. Yeah. And a friend of yours, Kenor? No, I don't think so. Uh, this. You know, the, the, the colony here was founded years and years ago. Uh, and basically what he explains to you is that uh, this was sort of set up as a getaway spot for uh, less than legal persons. Uh, it, it, it was set up uh, not completely as a pleasure world, but just a, a very, very nice sort of... Uh, illegal vacation area but something happened uh, they're, they're, mo most of uh, Corda's fleet was destroyed in a warp storm when they were on their way here and the planet's been mostly abandoned ever since then they've sort of just been scavenging whatever they can from, from different peoples and recently they've had a few contracts to bring in uh, food from off world is what he tells you. I don't understand why he wants slaves, though. Well, he explains that after having no supplies for for so long, they, they sort of turned to eating the dead. And then, well, their taste sort of just grew from there. Oh, so oh. it actually is food. How would you say? No, well, he should, have said, he should have said something the beginning. He's just going to eat them. Uh, that's really bad. We don't like that. Um, he wants to know what happened to their ship. <laughs> you mean the Hulk that's floating around outside? Uh, first it was set on fire, and they vented some crew, and then uh, it got some holes in it. And then we set it uh, on fire again. And then we set it on fire again, and then it blew up uh, three times. Like He's space just completely silent. What did you expect? You attacked us. He says, yes, very well, but we, we were, we're starving. Dude, have, you attacked us. Yeah, have you tried just ordering some food? Actual food? They're also cannibalists, so I don't have any sympathy. Well, like, they... No, I've... Uh, yeah, like, like, they did the... They jo didn't order actual food because their tastes have changed because they've been... Like, jo John Silk is more like... That may be a valid argument, but you attacked us. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Attacked you attacked us. He says it doesn't matter. We we couldn't use that ship to leave anyway. Its warp drive was long, long destroyed. Well, at least you've got each other to eat now. So, good luck with that. <laughs> That's brutal. What do you want? He attacked us. <laughs> it's true, he did. If we had if plague bombs, I'd be dropping them. Other, yeah, if you're if you're just gonna leave them to eat each other, let's just do an orbital strike and get it done with. Like, damn. No, I that wouldn't be cruel. And yeah. also a waste of ammo. Well, we can do it with and a short it would cannon, damage, surely. And it would damage all precious resources on the planet. I'm pretty sure that cannibalism is heretical. Like, they're yeah. probably going to fall to chaos if we just let them be a bunch of weird cannibals. Fine. Probably. Yeah. You're right. Okay. 
So let's uh, just. Uh, you know what? I'll, gi I'll give him half an hour to kill himself with dignity, or then we're blowing the shit out of him. There you go. Have a nice day. Uh, he 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 says, "Wait, wait! You you you're 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 beginning a war with another rogue trader." No, this... I'm not. You started it already. It's not me. You attacked me. Remember? You tricked me into selling slaves. That's on you, not me. Also, I don't think they were associated with the rogue trader. It was abandoned. They're just scavengers, I thought. Yes, I point that out too. He, he or begs they you to just leave them be the... and and be on your way. He's got mm. half an hour. Hey, uh, have we hung up? No. The guy? <laughs> Click. Well, no. Like drop. <laughs> Yeah, basically. Like if he wants if he wants to plead for a bit. I hope he does. I would enjoy it if he was like if I could hear him be really scared and maybe if he could put the microphone next to his dick as he wets himself. <laughs> no, he doesn't he doesn't do anything. He's just no. gone now. Okay, so then I spend the next thirty minutes uh uh <coughs> reading out uh or sending down to them all of the crew members uh, that they killed. So they know who's punishing them. <laughs> all 700. Yep. And you know what? I'm going to be down in the bay writing names on the shells. Um, what, what we should do in that 30 minutes instead is go talk to the other people who wanted yeah. help. Yeah, the good people. And see maybe. if they actually wanted to get off the planet and aren't cannibals. We could do that too. Yeah, like because it's yeah, not like, exactly fair to damn them to. Uh, well, we're not going to blow off the whole planet. Yeah, I'm just talking about a localized strike. It's gonna well, yeah, like... I, 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 I know, but if we can recover them, yeah, yeah uh, we should probably. They're not crazy. Now, we did. We did get kind of stuck in with uh, fighting them, but did my seneschal ever get around to checking our supplies? <laughs> Oh yeah. Well, I mean, we we all know the answer to that. If we did actually have any food, like, so uh, like, do you have enough to supply the colony? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Uh, I mean, no. Like, you 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 could give them food. They could last for a little while. You'd be lowering your own food supplies, and you know they'd run out before you could probably get back and bring more. Mm -hmm. You don't have enough to like give them and you know survive as well. Can we bring some of them on board? Uh, in theory, you could. It would take a while. Well, we're not in a rush. Hmm? No. I mean, they'll have to pay us, but I mean... Well, they probably won't have any money, so they'll have to pay us in the Why wouldn't they? Dude. Like, they'd, have, they'd have to pay us stuck in stuck on uh... a planet? Yeah, but you don't run out of... Like, just because you run out of food doesn't mean you run out of money. You can't what eat if, money. If you eat, most, uh... most people who are transplanted, like, on colonies, take everything they own with them. Like, that, these aren't probably going to be wealthy vacationers since the mm. fleet got fucked up. Mm. I, guess I mean, we'll they find Keep out. in mind, they were, they were mostly criminals and whatnot before, from what this other person told you. So they probably had plenty of money. Just yeah, no like... way to leave. Well, I think. Uh, well, do we know that the other is... group is also? You don't. I, th from... I, th yeah. I think the main group that uh, were the Sekos were the people who went and had a good holiday time, and the people on the other side are like the not those guys. Slaves. They're either like they're either they either escape slaves or they're other workers or they keep the place vaguely running because you can eat as many people as you like, but if your water runs out or your toilet breaks, you're fucked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's probably people like, what's the point going to a pleasure planet and eating everybody if you eat the butler too? Yeah. It's my let's, thinking. Let's go, let's go talk to them and see what they're doing. Okay. Uh, well, you, you orbit over to the other side of the planet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, being over there, it's gonna, I, I, I'll say before you go, uh, it's going to take you longer than a half hour to cross to the other yeah. side of the planet yeah. after these people and then come back if you want to blow this up. Oh, we don't want to be known as... No, we're hmm. men of our word, so we, we should don't, just we kind don't of want hold to... here for a while. And we don't want to be late. Yeah, but at the same time, is it the most opportune thing to blow them up before we talk to... What's the, what's the worst that can happen if we don't blow them up? Uh, the extra 
30 minutes they get, they could leave the area. Yeah, they and leave the area safe. that we're targeting. They and like, then they uh, maybe they just... attack the other guys. They're like, what took them so long? Maybe there's they well, there the are, other guys. Or well, they they're... decide they're doomed men and they try to summon like a bunch of chaos demons. Bargain with their lives. Mm-hmm. It's a fair point. We should blow them up. Okay. It's localized. It's fine. Yeah, let's blow them up. You can't eat palaces or whatever. Okay. Um, well... Well, actually, I kind of want to get the feel of the crew before we blow them up. Yeah, we'll just tell them they're heretics. And they are, and so everyone's going to be fucking pumped. Everybody, uh, I bet everybody's super pumped to kill them because they're cannibals, which is bad. Mm -hmm. They murdered 700 of their close friends and family. I'll say that's bad. Which is pretty bad. Well, as long as the crew's on board, let's blow them up. I mean, I, I, I'm i bad at reading humans. Like, what do I know? Like, Look we're doing them. the Emperor's job. We're like, this is... That's, this that's why I'm asking the GM. Uh, like, what so, are so who, are you, uh, what are you doing here? Are you asking, like, your bridge no, crew? No, I'm not... Are you getting on I'm, the box and just going... I'm not asking. I'm more like, I want I want the general feel of the bridge crew. How do, uh, okay, okay. So, I... Uh, you know, your bridge crew is standing I think, behind you 100% here. Yeah, and I think I'm going to send out IB to check because someone has to look over the damages anyways. I assume he's out looking at that kind of shit. And, uh, while, so, he's, and while he's out looking at stuff, if he hears anyone go, Oh, fuck those guys. I sure hope we blow them up from orbit. Yeah. And he can let us know. <laughs> exactly. Should, should I go stealthed so they don't see me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stealth around trying to discover what the what they fucked up. That's a good yeah. plan. I'll uh, I'll send Frederick with you. <laughs> oh my god, he actually did it for once. <laughs> yeah. I was kind of hoping that he'd roll like a 90. <laughs> All right, uh, well, you, you sneak around the ship. Um, the, the general feel of the crew seems to be that they're behind their captain. Um they're they're with them. They're they're not okay. You know they don't really know a lot of what's going on outside their specific areas yeah. of the ship. Good. But, you know they 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 don't seem to be questioning you at all. Good. Sweet. Let's blow them up. Boom. Boom. Okay. Well, you only really have a general generic area from where the uh, help beacon was broadcasting from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can we? You know, can. You know. Can we call them up and just have that, like, put privately into my headset as we shoot them? <laughs> you, you see if they answer the phone so you can hear them? Squishy. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's gonna be I think, like that's, a, really I think that's a bit rich. Well, it's, that's why just in my ear, just a little bit in my ear. Nobody didn't like that. So, well, I, I, we're, they bridge for a silicon, I don't know. I guess, no, uh, like... Well, Ethan, know. make a uh, tech use test if you're going to do that. I've only, I've only got, like, regular... I don't, I don't think I have tech use. Where's tech use? It's like, hey, someone, give me the thing. Is tech use a basic? I don't think it no. is. Ah. Oh. No, you don't know how to do it. Someone would have no. to do it for you. Someone, someone do it. It's almost like there's someone else in the ship that you could ask. You someone. Could, <laughs> you could ask uh, Grunty hey, or you could ask a crew hey, member. Hey, robot guy. Can you call them up and just... You're not in the same room with me. I can't hear you. <laughs> I run over with my super elven speed, my <laughs> fleet feet. I'm like, hey, hey, can you call them up and put it in my earpiece? Nobody else, just me. Mm, you're gonna owe me one. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, I'll see. I'm what good I can at do. favors. Yeah. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, he can do it. Okay. Okay. I'm like, I'm just. I'm going to wait for them to say hello before I hit the button. Just tell me to hit the button, Captain. Well, we had we gave him 30 minutes. So let's do well, 25. Well, he's waiting for your, you to count down. Yeah. Come on, say hello, fucker. Pick up the phone. It's ringing. No one answers. <sighs> Goodbye. <laughs> let's blow him up. Hit the button with a sigh. Okay. Uh, you... you start bombarding the planet uh, and the area murder. that you Yay. think that this was. We we blow up a distress beacon real good. You know, all of your uh, all, all of your 
macro cannon batteries are cutting big holes in all the clouds and stuff as they're going through. Uh, but, you know, they close back up. There's it looks really pretty. Big explosions and stuff underneath them, that, you know. But do uh, you, you think you wipe that whole area out at least? Good. Let's go over to the other side and see what they're up to. Okay. Uh, you send your ship all the way to the other side of the planet. I run over to Grant and go, hang up before they use the phone again. I <laughs> no. uh, it on the sly. <laughs> uh, you you hail the guys on the other side of the planet, and they're like, "Oh, we we're so glad that you're back. We thought that you left." Uh, well, there was no, a orbiting. settlement on the other on the other side of the planet that had hailed us, but then they, um, for some reason, attacked us. So we had to defend ourselves, and that took a bit of time. Um, what is um, what's the deal with you? How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, how are you yeah. doing? Yeah, what's like? I want to know what their situation is. If there's a way we can help them, uh, because we don't we don't have the supplies they want. We don't have any. We don't have enough food to send down so that they can survive. What we do have is some room on the ship, possibly. Uh, About but I'm not people's worth. <laughs> well, not not really, because we also have the cryo frozen dudes. Yeah, but they're but in again, the boxes. They don't to be fair, them. we shouldn't un we shouldn't unthaw them because then we have to feed them. Correct. Yeah, exactly. We need to take them to another planet and get that all yeah. sorted out. Like rain. Yes. Oh, we don't know shit about rain. Maybe rain sucks too. It could. Maybe. Yeah, if we do take these people on, it's probably going to be a better idea to get to a world we know is like we know about so we would probably have, have you to... have you seen our star map there are well actually we yeah no we've go got back, several now like, 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 like uh, i'm saying if we pick like, up these extra people we probably have to go back to like we uh, can't go back i don't go we back could, we, could, we could we could go down to iniquity right iniquity is a mining world i mean true that the, i mean the last mining world we went to was full of ghosts but this one's like one that's used so i guess that one could just be like a frozen hell hole or poisonous gas like false hope or whatever uh, we should also remember that people on damaris gave us these frozen dudes so yeah. it might be a good idea to go find whoever sent that shipment out well True. maybe you get every other said like, we've stumbled, we've stumbled upon a smuggling ring here we might we could put our frozen sisters destination on hold and investigate this Put frozen yeah. sisters on hold. I mean, Don't we have you... a we have a definite objective. I'm just saying it's an option. We Dude, have a definite we objective we now. we said we were going to frozen sisters, and now we yeah, found that... frozen people. This is clearly a sign. Mm. We're gonna see and how. Are there could... any sisters that are frozen? Yes, at least one. Probably statistically speaking. Yeah. Unless they're like, ooh, we like men. In between only, the age of like sixteen and thirty-two, we Those only are the most tender. We only want men who are also only child. <laughs> yes. Uh. So, yeah. What? What can they tell us? Like. Uh. Well. Uh. How how you can help them? Unless you mm -hmm. can take all of them off the colony, there's not a lot you could do. How many okay. of them are there? Uh. There's. On, uh, on that area, there's probably about 5,000 people. That's too many. Yep, that's well, too many. How much, like, I, I guess, I'm guessing, like, if so if we took that many on, provided, mm -hmm. like, I assume we have the space. We probably have the space. Food is the main issue, right? Right. So, assuming we ration our food, which will probably, like, cause a morale hit, we could extend the amount of time, like, we could probably make a jump to, a, you know, another planet or two. And still have food. We just might. Well, no, we we checked that earlier, and the and the answer was no. We don't no, have those well, supplies. We don't have enough supplies to leave food for them, go somewhere, and come back with. More no, that food. wasn't what I asked last time. I asked if we could take them with, and we don't have supplies. Oh, I didn't. I didn't understand that. Well, what, 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 what we what we can what we can do is, uh, if if they want to send up, we can pick up a delegation of them. And then take them to the closest planet, and then they'll have to uh, help themselves. 
they they ask where you would take them. Well, uh, they, I, I, I assume they know the systems around here better than I do because this is the first time in the sector. But we've uh, we came from what? Where did we come from? Uh, so we came from Damaris, uh, and we were our plan is to go on to Rain. Yeah, so what's that rain? Could we take him to rain? Rain? Let's see if they know anything about rain. Nope. They don't. <laughs> they, they <laughs> the just, only rain they... we know is from these freaking storms. <laughs> Am I right, guys? No, they've not heard of that system. Ah. <sighs> what system have they heard of? I mean, they know of a few. You know, they know they know footfall. They've heard of Damaris before. Uh, I feel like these people don't have the drive you need to survive uh, they have out the, in the universe. They seem very, very defeated. I mean, your very average imperial attitude. citizen doesn't know a lot about this kind of stuff. We are... Well, to be fair, these are not your average imperial citizens we because just, they're fucking stuck in a storm <laughs> world and there's no food. No, just, that's, uh, that's pretty typical, actually. We just, we, just <laughs> asked them, we just asked them what they know about rain, and now we're going to ask them what they know about iniquity. Because that's a planet that people at least know of nearby. So I bet I'm I'm just I'm just positing this as an idea, but a combination of the fact that we are a really fast ship in the warp and some clever rationing, I bet you we could make at least one jump and not run out of food and take all these people on. I'm not willing to risk that because we. What if it, we don't arrive at the destination? We could go off course. Well, then we just yeah. have to throw them out the airlock. Yeah, that's not <laughs> happening. I need. All right. It's so way I, more difficult to do it face to face than just like, leave them to starve, right? I'm just saying, right? because of the speed difference and stuff, like, pretty much everyone we leave on the planet will probably be dead by the time any help arrives. Yeah, yeah. but we have a responsibility for uh, the crew first, and them second. Doesn't mean this, I don't want to help them. We've got this I, idiot radio guy. <laughs> yeah. Can't he, yeah, like, send I mean, a thing to Damaris and say these people need, like, there's people, uh, um, Grace, that need picking up? Uh, go around the other side of the charring wreck of a planet bit, the big crater. Go to the other they bit, they tried. need food and probably stuff. probably take them a couple of weeks, though. Yeah, well, better than nothing. Well, well, I made my suggestion. I'm, I'm up for uh, whatever the uh, captain goes with. Well, well, let's think about how long it took us to get here from the warp. So it took us, what, three weeks in real time? Uh, Yeah. From, to get to Grace from Damaris. Mm -hmm. So, we're unlikely to be able to leave them enough food to survive for three weeks for somebody else to come from Damaris. Not for 5,000 people, probably not. Yeah. Well, what about food for one and a half weeks? I guess okay. it depends on how much food we keep. I mean, we've yeah. got 14,000 like, I mean, people. It's, it's, we got to have at least... I imagine we have like one or two months worth. Like, that's yeah, I mean, you're things. you're you're fairly self-sufficient. You guys can stay out in space for a long while, but yeah. if you start giving stuff away or taking yeah, exactly. on extra, yeah. you're you're breaking the equilibrium. And here here's here's the so, issue. So, I, like, uh, go on. Yeah. No, you go. Well, here's the issue I have is that if if they claim when we talk to them first that oh, we don't have anything, we're stuck on this planet, and now we're dying because we don't have any food, and everything needs to be shipped in. They didn't. They weren't the ones that had ordered the um, in air quotes food to begin with. Yeah. And like five thousand people are a lot of people, and paying for them to be sustainable somehow that's going to cost a lot of money. So what do these people have? Because either they have something of value, which they can trade and get. Food, which I assume, because they must be here to produce something. Unfortunately, or, we killed all the rich people who have the yeah. money and ordered the food in. Or they're just like 5,000 people that are just stuck on this shit planet with nothing on it. And I think I think these people are like the the drones of the planet. Well, they were on the other side. Like, surely it takes a while to cross a planet. It, mm -hmm. it might, it yeah, might I don't not think be the they're directly related to other group like they might they might be. yeah raiders, i mean they they might they be weren't. it might be but it seems like if i'm building a pre pleasure planet it's it seems like maybe not have the servants on the 
other side of the planet mm -hmm. because it's going to take a long while for the commute. I mean, we should just, know. they might not be uh, servants. They're probably just yeah. more raiders. They just did devolve to cannibalism. Yeah, let's ask them what their deal is. Yeah. Their relation to the guys on the other side of the planet. Shall we mention that we blew them up? Probably not. No. I think we, probably not. We, well, we we mentioned that they attacked us and we defended ourselves. Yes, but yeah, yeah, if, yeah. if these guys know those guys, then they know they had a ship, so they're going to assume that's what we mm, Well, yeah, we didn't say we bombarded them for a little bit. Okay, yeah, so they basically, won't the environmental effects for that for like at least a day. They need to give us all, give us the whole story, please. Okay, well, the story they give you is basically pretty similar to the one that the guys on the other side of the planet gave you. There was a rogue trader that colonized this world. Uh, you know, there there was palaces all over the planet at one point, but since the you know months and months that they've been cut off they're not even sure how long they've they've lost all contact with everyone else on the planet and all the other palaces and everything like that they're mostly out of fuel so they can't really travel around the planet whatsoever anymore their their supplies are incredibly low mhm mm uh what, what did you do for food or did you just have huge stocks in like bunkers or whatever cuz you're a stupid planet for idiots well he's they, they did they did have a lot of food Stored up, but they're most of their supplies are completely gone at this point. Yeah, but what? Are, what? Are, so, what's the monetary resources like? Like, are they? If if they were able to, would they be able to buy food to sustain themselves? He tells you that with what they have on the planet, no, there's nothing they could. The the, the planet doesn't produce anything. No, but it's, well, it's a it's a pleasure planet. It doesn't have to be resources. No, it was going to be a pleasure planet. No, it's so, like, been. But I mean, like the, the fact that the planet itself doesn't have any resources it doesn't really answer the question. Like yeah, like what the the people have. I don't. Are they rich the and guys. cool? I think they're really shifty. Like because if if they're part of like if the people that are stuck here are part of bigger like families then they have access to wealth or if it's just like uh, lowly workers then they're fucked yeah i don't think they're either i think they're raiders just like the other guys were the other guys if only we had if only we could get video chat and look at them i bet they were really weird looking Pro if only we could get one of them and then i could mind probe them and then we'd find out the truth well, that's kind of why I wanted. Uh, uh, that's kind of why I wanted them to send up like ten people that can go and buy food. Um, yeah, go. This would be much easier yeah. face to face. Could and you send up a person? Just one. They, 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 they want you. You want them to, like, you want to land a shuttle and have them come in it and just come up and talk to you. Mm, nah, uh, I don't I, like the sounds of that. I ca I basically want them to tell me what they want. They want food. That's yeah, not, no, but, but that's food. Yes, and I want riches beyond my wildest dreams. And currently, I only have riches about the size of my dreams, which is different. Like it, yeah, there are some not... things you can get instantly, and then there are some things that are re unrealistic and doesn't work. Like them getting food, that's unrealistic. They need to. Yeah, what, what we do need they to got? figure out a solution that works. What they got? Uh, he 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 says they he does you know they tell you they don't know what they have that could possibly be of value to a rogue trader like you. They're they're basically just begging for help from from your charity. And and they're saying that because rather than actually put the effort in and go look and give us some suggestions, they're just gonna beg. That's pretty I much what they're doing. Yeah. Well that's not what gonna work, so go figure something out. Is. I'll talk to you in two hours. <laughs> wow. oh. Like what I I Okay, so I'm a lowly half machine, half man, but I fail to see anything they could do in their situation that is going to. What? What exactly do you think they could do? I don't if, think if, they know. If, if they are rich people living on a pleasure planet and they've run out of food. I okay. So can we can we get this confirmed? Did it ever actually make it to the part where they built, like, all the fancy hotels and stuff on the Pleasure Planet? They've they, they, said they, several they, times that there are palaces all over the place. Yes. They, okay. There have been palaces. And Can stuff. we take ownership of the planet? 
Probably not. Uh, it's, it's damaged. It's it's also like it's we know the name of the the traitor who owns uh, who's claimed the planet. We also the other faction claimed that he mo and most of his ships had been stuck in a war uh, died in a warp storm. I think. Yeah. That's not correct. Owned currently. Well, just be. Well, well, well we, we don't know. We don't know if the rogue traitor destroyed. Also, here. he's no. part. Of, he's probably part of a family. Like just because that speci yeah. specific road trait traitor dies. Doesn't mean like the the planet so, that he's claimed probably, are just like yeah, boom. Someone gone. would have inherited the warrant somewhere. Correct. So the question is like, other than the, I mean, buildings aren't of particular value to us because you can't do anything with them. If these people are like vacation goers that made it through, unlike the rest of the thing, then yeah, maybe there's some wealth. But if they're just raiders, they don't have squat. But I don't understand why you think they're raiders because they because that's there has what the other guys were and the no they weren't they people... just been they just turned that way because no one came and helped them. Did like... I misunderstand that? I thought that the people coming, like the wealthy people, were coming and got killed by the warp storm, and these are just scavengers. I I, I that's... Uh, what the, the, these these are people that are a combination of both some of the like wealthy underworld people that were already vacationing here and just the workers that were here. Okay. And okay. it's, you know, they're, they're sort of descent I, I from Okay, from I understand. That. No. I was on the wrong foot with who these people That's were. okay, so you're like half strength. machine. <laughs> yeah. I thought they were taking advantage of the fact that all of, like, people basically never got here. Nope. But they are people that did get mm -hmm. here, they just didn't have... Okay. And, I mean, I'm, I'm not looking for resources specifically... But if if this has been a pleasure planet, a really for, big, a really big check. I'm just saying that there might be information that some uh, families or other organizations might not want to be public. They like there could be yeah. that kind of information around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but these guys seem to refuse uh, refuse to tell me anything. They just want to beg about shit, and that's not going to fly. Not when Bribery. I've lost seven hundred people. Mm-hmm. And uh, several thousand bullets. Uh, yes. Bullets aren't cheap, especially from the keel shard cannons. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I assume. I don't know. That doesn't like... actually take bullets. <laughs> yeah, that's we yes. Well, it's it's not, as yes. far as we know. He just tells you it takes bullets and then marks off. <laughs> For expenses. Yeah, me and him actually have a racket going. I tell you that, yeah, well, yeah, of course it takes bullets and then we split the profit. Yeah, so uh, I'm just going to give them two hours to sweat. And then call them up again and see what's up. Okay. Alright, you call them after two hours. Uh, they, they said that they're, they're, the, the only thing they can think of to offer you is they're prepared to gift you one of the palaces here on the, on the planet. But the planet sucks. For, no, for, I mean, first it, of all... Uh, how would they be able to gift uh, give me one of the palaces? Isn't aren't, isn't isn't this whole thing owned by uh, what's his face? Uh, Aspis. Exactly. C Cordor or whatever. Corda. Uh, Aspis Corda. Aspis Corda. Uh, well, he he tells you that yes, but uh, they they presume that they've been abandoned. She hasn't returned for for so long. No, but that doesn't. So you're you, you'd not be giving me a palace then. You'd be saying like, "Hey, here's a palace you can use." He he, he says yes, <laughs> basically. So, let me get this straight. You're on a pal. You're on a planet that you think's been abandoned. Some some guy comes along and is like, "Hey, how how can we how can we help? Is there is there a solution to this? You claim that the whole, uh." planet is full of palaces you can't give me any really legally because you don't know if the owner of of the planet's still alive or not or if anyone in, in his family is alive so you offer me one stinking palace one stinking one uh... is that what is that what's happening here do you have a do you have a burning need for the rest of them can we uh can we get ib up on deck he he tells you that they can't, they can't even go to any of the others because they're mostly out of fuel anyway. He's, they're prepared to give you the one that they're at. And what would they do? 
Who who's whose palace is that? Or whose uh, palace did it yeah, used to yeah. be? Yeah, yeah. Whose whose palace is it supposed to be? Uh, it, it, it's not like a king or anything. Think of like you know high high class yeah, yeah, hotels. Yes, in Vegas but or I mean yes, exactly. But who's who's been renting it or who who's who's been ha having their summer vacation there? Uh, well, he says most of the most of the people that were staying here were are gone. And anyway, so how good are you guys at it's telling lies? Oh, oh how good are you at detecting lies? Rather? That's that's scrutiny, right? Yeah, scrutiny. Okay. Um, um, half plus ten, good at it. I think I'm one. But so they're they're similar. Uh, they're saying both that. Hang on, there are five thousand people at one palace. Yeah, so yeah, it's 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 big. It's big jobs. Hmm. I can't believe Ivy can't get scrutiny until rank two. <laughs> Just yeah, cannot know shit about lies. <laughs> I I think I think I'm in the same. I think the rogue trade is the same. Like I think we're not, I I think it might actually be worse for. For the rogue trader, yeah, it's rank three for the rogue trader. I don't, fuck, I don't understand how people lie. Uh, uh, well, it's, it seems like they don't two. they don't actually have anything. Uh, Quite easily. C can oh. we uh, ask him if they fuck it? Like, just could we just come straight out and go? So, are you guys cannibals too? And then in, maybe if, if they go no, figure out if they're lying or not. And if they are, you just nuke them too. Fuck them. They don't have anything of worth. And if they do, they're not sharing it. If the food supplies are running out, then they're going to resort to cannibalism. It's inevitable. No, you're not. Like, let, let's let ask the guy who's close to the God Emperor. Would, <laughs> would you say that uh, just because you're running low on food, you start eating people? I think that that's a, uh, a line you can't come back from. See? Okay, but uh, so so I'm tell uh, I guess I'm telling these people that they clearly don't want to uh, negotiate or give me or um, offer any me anything, info or anything offer me any info or anything that would make me be able to help them. Uh, so I guess we have to leave. Uh, we can we can send uh, a message. We can ask our astropath if he can send a message to uh, Damaris. Uh, saying that you don't have any resources, but at the same time, if you don't have anything to pay with, then I don't think anyone's going to send you any resources. So Emergency humanitarian aid. But with the caveat of be careful, they might be cannibals. Uh, they, they, they thank you for at least doing that. He says all of their astropaths had, had died long ago. So Like... I, I don't even did, want to did, help did, these people now. Did they, they did are they taste so good? fucking meek. Did they taste good? Are you, are you asking him that? Yeah, <laughs> straight up. Okay, make it make a scrutiny test. <laughs> okay, where is it? Where is it? Da, 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 da. Bum bum bum. Ba, da, 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 bum bum. Uh, can you just do it regular? Yeah. There you go, scrutiny. Oh man. Uh, he says no, and you don't believe him. I don't believe him. <laughs> are, you, are you saying they eat people too? Mm hmm. That's what I think. Well. So let's then see. How do, we, how do we how do we confirm that they eat people? We could go uh, down there. That's yeah, not we happening. Go, we could go down there and get mobbed by five thousand. Yeah, miles. I'm not I'm not going down to a planet where they claim there are five thousand people. Like that's. Uh, we could ask them to. We could ask them to give a stool sample. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we could. Throw of a dead body and see if they eat it. 
I don't think we have any dead bodies. I mean, though. I've got a hunch that I don't like. I just I don't have hundred dead bodies. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think you don't have that many. Some were vented in this space. Yeah, some were. Yeah. Yeah. I uh no, I think. Uh, okay. Think uh, well. Uh, Takes one clear. to note. These guys are yeah, dumb. They're clearly cannibals, so let's blow them out of the sky. Like well, they're there's out off the ground. They're not in the sky. Well, okay. yes, that we'll too. Blow but... Into the sky and then out of it. There is no, there is no profit here, and we wasted too much time, anyways. Uh, let's just keep going. Okay, so you're just gonna bombard them from orbit? Well, it, I mean, not only are there cannibal cannibals, they're also cannibals that have no way <laughs> of actually bargaining <laughs> for anything. Yeah, they're poor I, cannibals. So like, at least, <laughs> at least the, at least the other ones managed to send a message for someone to deliver food and yeah. paid in advance. Yeah. I'm going to go over to Grundy and go, do the phone thing again. Do the phone thing for me again. I'll eat oh, you too. Okay, fine. So I'm, I'm just going to explain to them that we talked to the other colony on the other side and they had fallen to cannibalism. And we can't let Chaos get a hold. Um, and it seems like they have fallen to the same thing. And thus, we need to do the one thing that is right and cleanse. Yeah, fine here. This, yeah. um, area. Um, I, 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 I like, they've clearly fallen, had a terrible fate, uh, fall upon them, but unfortunately, as just and God Emperor, uh, loving people, we can't let, uh, chaos stand, so. Purify the planet and start again. Basically, yes. Okay. You, you bombard them from orbit. Yeah, and then I silently weep. That they didn't uh, have anything to offer me. So. We should got... probably hit the third beacon too, just to be sure. I got the phone in my ear. Do I get to hear them scream a lot and have a bad time? Oh yeah, because you didn't hang up this time, so yeah. Yeah, yes. there's like screams yes. of terror as, as shells. Well, I, I, I'm gonna hang up. No, I. I my end. End. He, so he just patched it through to my. Yeah. Well, that's fine, but no one else is hearing it. Yeah, no, no one else can so hear. This, it. Just this me is sad. My... Yeah, no one on there. This is sad. So. This is sad. I'm hitting the button. I'm going, yes. Yeah. Our profit margins are going you're, down. You're enjoying it. I can just hear the pee. It's the full in from space. Like, what's that? Like, no, the, oh my god. The, only, the yeah. only thing we got out of this is like, what, 100 cryo frozen people? So far. Yeah. But some of them was like, at least some of them were minor nobility. There could be rewards for their return. Yeah, of course. But I lost 700 of my crew. Yeah. No, that sucks. No, there's more. There's billions everywhere. Also true. Yeah, but they were mine. Yeah, and true. you'll get more. Also it's true. It's, it's sad and upsetting, and we'll throw a big party so everybody can get happy again. Let's go to Rain. Uh, before we leave, I'm going to send a message to Damaris, letting them know that Grace is a cannibal world. It's an awful yes. cannibal world. Yeah, it, it, okay. it's, um, is that a good idea? Because the people back there were the ones helping the slavers. Well, somebody. Well, there. Somebody yeah, was. Somebody there. Like Not if it's if it's the was. person who's in charge of them, it's like we're going to talk to a government guy or whatever. Yeah, and <laughs> also we we kind of have to beat the other uh, way rumors spread that someone's like, "Ooh, ooh, the silkworms taking uh, uh, just wiped just out murdering it. people for no reason." Yeah, like they, if they went to if, this planet and then everybody's dead, and also yeah. they've got throws some bodies. Hmm. If there's minor nobility or nobility in the cargo, there may be there may be people looking for them that have tracked whatever has happened. We don't know that. Mm -hmm. So if that happens and it comes from the other way, that someone goes to Demaris and like these cryo frozen people were in this shipment. Where did it go? And I'm like, oh, that went with the silkworm. Then we're suddenly slave smugglers. That's worse. Mm -hmm. Also, we have nothing to fear. We're this yeah, is we uphold the, the law. Yeah, we like yeah. we were tricked into this, and it won't happen again. And we're gonna fix it. We're fixing it right now. So I would call them up to fix yeah. it. Well, yeah. So yes, yeah, we also fixed it message. in other ways. Uh, how far away would you say it is, Nuggan? Uh, what are your what are your ranges? Uh, nearby solar, distant solar, nearby sector. Uh, a subsector, distant solar. Okay. So for that, 
I will need to push. Let's get rid of this minus 30 because I don't need that. Yeah, okay. Uh, I succeeded. Okay. You send a message out. And then it takes 1d5 rounds or 1d10 rounds, which is no time at all, basically. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty easy. All right, well, we can leave now. Good. Okay. Anyone doing anything else first? Or are you heading out? I don't think there's much else to do. Okay. Uh, uh, other than wait for a potential message back that we might not get. Yeah, but yeah we, we can do that. Like, we're not in that kind of rush. <laughs> uh, oh, I guess we should send uh, Grunty back to, to our uh, cryo... Uh, people and not awaken them, but at least fucking figure out how how you do awaken them. We well, have to unweld them first. Yeah, so you can right, have yeah. a look at that. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, while he's doing that, I can send a message to Rain asking if they have a uh, available port for our ship since we're damaged. Okay. Ooh. Oh, yes. I don't know. Don't tell them we're damaged though. Well, uh, I'm going to say available port. I'll say that we were attacked at Grace. Yeah, like they kind and of were like, we need going to, their need direction. To have supplies and stuff ready for us to use, so we kind of do have to tell them we're damaged. Nah, yeah, they don't have stuff ready. Nah, I think we it's should. Tell them. I don't think... want to get ambushed by guys who know we're hurt. Oh, we'll barely hurt in... though if they ambush us. Yeah. I think yeah, it's important like... to be honest, and yeah, we right. can. They're emperor fearing citizens. They wouldn't dare do that. They better uh, be. I'm going to say that's a distant solar as well. Is that correct? Uh, no, that's close. Okay. Makes it even better. Nearby. All right. Well, there we go. Yeah. Message sent. Nice. I'm going to, I guess, just check on these cryo caskets and make sure we can maintain them or whatever. Okay. Nope, nope, welded shut. <laughs> Keep looking, maybe there's one that isn't. No, I don't. Like, we, we should send someone else in. Take ten minutes on it or something, Jesus. Oh. Yeah, this is kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I, figure, I figure over the course of the warp, I can at least make sure the people inside don't die. Yeah, you'll probably be alright with that. No. Isn't that a thing you can do, can't you take ten minutes? So did you send a message to, to Rain? Yeah. Scoozle? Yep. Uh, you you get no response at all. All right. Well, Not even a... just like an acknowledgement of your message being received. Nothing. Yeah, maybe... oh, it's got lost in the warp. We're fine. Maybe they're all dead or whatever. Yeah, whatever. It maybe there's no one there. Yeah. Like, it, it it is possible since we didn't ask anything about rain. It just might not even be a planet. Yeah. You might oh, be you like know, uh, you know full scope could, or something. You, oh, you know what we could you could do. You could send a message to uh, Inequity too. Yeah, the miner. Like we know that's a yeah. mining planet at least. And then see, we could go there for. See if they have or any. Or see if they have any resources to. Like if they do have a. A port um, that we could dock in. Yeah. All right. Um, what's the range on that nugget? Ah, uh, that's a close solar. Okay. I'm really good at rolling the exact same number. I can't see your rolls. No, no. Same. Oh, same. interesting. What'd you get? I got, uh, that was a success. I got four degrees of success. Okay. Um, Why can't you, 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 get, see it? you get no response from Iniquity either. Well, I think the last people are alive. This place sucks. I still feel like we should go to Rain because it's it's what on, we have it's, it's, it's Yeah, it's like on the way to where we're going. Yeah. I refuse to believe there is only one planet with, with people Astros. on in this fucking sector. And they were all mad cannibals. And they're the only people with, like, 
they didn't have astropaths, but maybe this place doesn't, and they've got radios. So when we get there, we can talk to them. The, Blow them the, up too. The only place we've ever successfully talked to with astropath powers is football. Everywhere else just never responds. Didn't Damaris respond when you... Yeah, you, you got an acknowledgement from Damaris. Oh, okay. Okay, we got an acknowledgement. Message received. Yeah. Okay. Well, I say For we go to seems more appropriate. Okay. Are we going to do our travel now and then stop, or... Yeah, yeah. Yes. Then, we'll or travel jump. right now. Damn. Alright, Barbaretta. Uh, let's see. Do do some rolls here. I believe I agree the two favors. Mm-hmm. Put that in your no. notes. No. It's okay, they've got the room caster. It's good. It helps, right? It, it reduces our travel time by half. It can't turn off. Like That's a bonus. Yeah, it can't turn off. It, uh... Yeah, your, your rune cast is still on. Uh, okay, so she thinks this is going to take a while. This is another mostly uncharted course. And things have shifted around the planet Grace recently anyway, so... Yeah, some changes in mass down there on that planet. <laughs> I, I am the warps gives plus 20 to all navigation tests. Yeah. It's pretty good shit, if you and ask me. And it, everything takes half the time, because rune casters are awesome. Right. Um... Okay... Two more. Charting the course. She's not doing very well this time. She's not doing good. She thinks this she's... might this might even take up to a month. She's shocked about. So the about uh, so it should be it should be half a month with your ship then about mm -hmm. yeah. two weeks. Yeah. Happens. It's how long it takes sometimes. Steering through the warp, she goes wildly off course. Ah, oh, maybe it was all welded. Yeah. Grunty should the steer er. Well, did the steering column? Yeah. Things, things. Okay, feel like it's taking absolutely forever again. Uh, uh, and you're also seeing. Uh, you you got visitations again too, so you're also seeing wow. all your dead relatives. Oh, that's once again. Good. I didn't have it. Visit. And that was a willpower test right last time, right? Or no? No, you don't need to do anything. Okay. We've already talked to these people. Because instead the demons come out. Oh. Rawr. Okay. She comes out of the warp incredibly far away from the planet rain. Phew. It's going to take you like, you know, two or three extra days real time just to to travel close to it. Yeah, but at least Can we just go? that's normal yeah. time. time. Okay, let me add your warp route on the map here. Okay. And we'll move the ship. Okay, uh, well, you take a few extra days, you're at the planet Rain. It's been like a month and a half real time. Ugh. The warp's awful. It's just that we're unlucky with navigators. And cannibals, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, what does the planet rain look like just before we end? Well, alright, you take a look out the window. Uh, actually, Scoozle, make me an awareness test. Alright, let's go to my token. Well, it succeeded by one. Nice. I still can't see your roll. Yeah, I can't either. I, I, uh, is it because I'm on the player save? No, it shouldn't matter. Okay. I, I don't know why you guys can't then, because I'm sending it to all. Magic. So are you guys just, like, immune to ghosts then, now? 
Yeah, pretty much. Yes, they I, are. Yes, I mean, yeah. at least this. You you know from last time, they don't really do anything. They're just kind of there. Like, if, if you met your ghost dad once, you've met, you've met your ghost dad. Like, yeah, like, yeah, no, I can, I can see that. That makes sense to me. So, uh, Scoozle, you succeeded by one. Mm -hmm. You hear sort of like a distant echo of an astropathic message as, as you arrive at the planet Rain. You know, it's sort of just present in the background. You can't really tell where it's coming from. And okay. Here, here's it, it, what it says is, it, it's, it's a, uh, I don't know, kind of wild sounding voice saying, there's, there is no hope now. I have heard the voice calling. It was calling to me from the storm in the sky and spoke of trespass and blood. Hearing it now, I know it's truth. That's it. You know what? Don't tell the crew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, I think you don't, yeah, you haven't told anyone. Good idea. Uh, so, looking down at this planet, um, there's... Uh, the, the, I mean, it, it's... It's a bit cloud covered, but it's not like Grace. Um, it, it looks like it's just kind of a stormy raining. day over most of the planet. Yeah, it's raining pretty much. It's not like hurricanes or anything. It's just normal, normal storms going on. Um, you know, the, the parts of it that you can see, there's like wet grasslands. There's you know some high plateaus and mountainous areas. Um, you know, there's definitely some sort of life here. You don't have any uh, other astropathic messages coming in. You don't hear any Vox communications. You're unsure of any human population. Uh, Ethan, do you want to make a, an awareness roll as well? Hell yeah. I am definitely in the mood for being aware of things. Make a weird elf roll. Use skill. Awareness. Mm-hmm. Success? Y yep. 41 okay. under. Looking out wow. just the viewport at this planet, you absolutely hate it. And I will I, send you a message why. I hate this planet. But I think we will leave that there for right now. All right. Okay. Next time, let's go somewhere else. <laughs> let's just immediately go back into the warp and forget this planet exists. Did, ev did everybody else hate it? No, just, just you. It's just, it's just you. Just me. Good. Just you. I, I hate it. Okay.